Oh no, Patgar is gone. Um, what going to sleep in that kind of bed? Good old mystery dungeon stuff. <laughs> um, uh, this way we go, I guess. This way? Yeah, I don't, I don't think any of these characters are gonna be having like deep conversations though, by any means. I don't think that's exactly gonna be happening. Um, you're the objective marker, even though there was something going on here. Uh, hi. <laughs> um, sounds like make sure or something. But there was a thing going on here. I seen it with me own two eyes. That's what happens when an Assassin's Creed assassin gets a little bit of the late night munchies. Anyway, I guess we go back in here. Um, yeah, I was honestly, one of the things I was thinking about saying during like the opening cutscenes when all like the cavemen were arguing with each other in that one tribe, I was honestly debating about saying like, oh, is this what happens when like Twitter echo chambers talk amongst themselves? I guess I'm taking this bow and it's mine now. Um, I. Um, that would certainly be something. Lord Spongega, it has come to my attention that you require my assistance, you know. So. Uh. What the heck? How does that even work? What? Can I even get that back one? What? Excuse me? I'm so confused. <laughs> Maybe. I feel like with a name like Spongega, he'd be more likely to speak German than English, but uh... I'm so confused right now! It's got to be that back one then, right? Um. What? I'm genuinely so confused. Um. Hi. Select item, bone is bone, stick is stick, rock is big, and hurt when throw. Bone? Uh, yeah, that would certainly be something. Stick? I assume, like, bring some food? Most likely? I'll try the hard rock. Um, do I take this now or something? All right, I can take it. No, we didn't name him Spongegar. We named him Spongega. <laughs> There's a difference. Okay. So, yeah, this then. Oh, you know the codes to do it then. Do the umlauts. I used to, wait, but I put it out there. What the heck? So like step away now? Oh yeah, leave. Okay. And then go back in, and it's gonna be gone? Probably? Uh... Well, we're back. Oh, okay, now cutscene. Okay. <laughs> Pretty scantily clad for 1994. Even if it is, uh, you know, in this kind of time period. Ooh. 
I mean, who knows what the original design is, if it was like that or something else. Uh, it does seem like they did try to be mostly faithful. But, you know, the official art for all the characters is a lot different nowadays compared to 1994. <laughs> what? And now we pick up you? <laughs> okay. Um, he's so made unless he breaks the second he sees a female. I guess so. <laughs> or something. Um, so I guess we have three members of our party now. Okay, and then this way. Well, are we going- <laughs> are we going back to our room? Oh my goodness. We basically are. Oh. Or not. Oh, so we're going back. Well, change our mind. Not that way. Not that way, I guess. We're going back here, I guess. Back this way. And into the hay again? Interact with the please. Um. What? What? Oh yeah, look at this. This is freaking Assassin's Creed level stealth right now. <laughs> My goodness gracious. It's a, it's a level above Assassin's Creed level stealth. In Assassin's Creed, you just go into a stationary haystack, but maybe that's what the assassins in Assassin's Creed should really learn, is to move the hay with them. And the guards are just gonna be like, huh, that's strange. Wonder where the assassin could be. Um, I'll have a look-see. Oh, you already have a stick. I can give you a bone that came out wrong. Um, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's see here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just taking my stack of hay for a walk. I guess. Um. Oh, that was like the bubble popping. I thought I just slapped his ass for a second there. Is what I thought that sound effect was. <laughs> Okay, don't give Ubisoft any ideas or all the stretch of the Assassin's Creed timeline even further back. And they'll take this idea of like moving with the haystack. But yeah. Yeah, that's essentially what the guards do. One of my favorite Assassin's Creed memes is this one that was like Assassin's Creed games in a nutshell. And it's like, Templar guard. The assassin has blended into the crowd. He could be anywhere. And then it says, the assassin. And it shows this stack of lobsters. And right at the top of the stack of lobsters is a blue lobster. So it's still a so it's still a lobster. But a blue lobster in the middle of all these red lobsters kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. But the Templar guards aren't going to notice that. It's like one of my favorite Assassin's Creed memes. Honestly. Wow. Imagine being someone's bro and you get kicked out of your bed because of a because of a girl that your pal just met like a few minutes prior. <laughs> wow. Okay, I I see how it is. <laughs> it was all just a dream. Okay, um, 
But yeah, this other found a troll century Jerusalem. No, actually, in 58 in Egypt. No, actually, in 500 BC Greece. Is that what the plot of Assassin's Creed Odyssey was? Because I think Odyssey and Valhalla were just like the games where it's like, it's an Assassin's Creed game in the Assassin's Creed universe, but there's literally no assassins. Uh, is what I think. I mean, I haven't gotten to those games yet, so I don't actually know. But <laughs> we will find them in the near future. But yeah, you gotta feel bad for a DK there. Um, but yeah, um, I guess asexually, Guzma, I guess is the answer there. Because yeah, clearly weren't invented yet. It was, the, yeah, freaking guys and gals were only invented later. In the beginning, everyone was just producing asexually. I mean, I guess you can technically say that's true if you go back like, you know, to singular celled kind of days. So I guess, I guess that statement isn't even false. <laughs> sort of, just not with this uh, time period. <laughs> I was saying it as a meme, but then I realized go back far enough and it's technically true. Just go back like a couple billion years. All right, this chick has played a bit too much Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Most comfortable in the hay. <laughs> yeah, I played way too much Assassin's Creed. Get under my haystack. My goodness, you can jump high. Gotta go gather more stuff today. Again, I do wonder what orders they gave the voice actors of this game. <laughs> you know? Wait, interact here? I assume I need, like, a food thing where Bob? Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, but yeah, male and female were rused by the gender issue to sell more gender products. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's what's going on there. Yeah, I guess, I guess the prehistory story is a story of simping. Imagine, imagine you bring some chick home and she's only interested in your stack of hay because she's played way too much Assassin's Creed. Imagine. Thus is the plight of Spongega. <laughs> or something. The heck happened to you? So we, wait, I can't get past you. Um, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, the the prehistory story in Live Alive is the tale of the first ever simp. Spongega the linguist. The first ever simp. We, uh, it was that top way that we got out before, right? I know it shows my objective marker is her, but, uh, wait, unless I can just, like, buy something? I give you stick and, oh, I can craft, I think. By combining two different items, you can create new, potentially useful ones. Let's so with different combinations and see what happens. Um, stick and hard rock, I guess. But yeah, um, father, why do I like Angela? My boy, let me tell you the grand story of how all simping began. The origin of all simps. The precursor simp. What? I can get an ax or I can get uh, shower curtains? What? I don't know, give me that. I don't know. Was that a question then? I'm so confused. Did I give the wrong answer? But I made like a thing, right? Yeah, strong axe. Wow, look at that. That's pretty big. Yeah, I can't give anything to you. Well, there's that. So I mean, if I do that, What'll happen here? Once all sponge guys lived in harmony, then the female attacked. Then the female nation attacked. And right when and right when the world needed the precursor simp the most, he vanished. Uh -huh. 
I'm genuinely so confused. Well, we have a bone spear now. Is it? I don't think it's better than my uh, horde spear. It has more attack. Wait, it has more attack but less physical attack? What does that even mean? Like, you know, all these routes are designed to potentially be your first one since you can do them in any order. So it's not like any of these are like particularly hard, apart from maybe the Wild West one where I didn't set the traps right. So it probably doesn't matter too much. And I haven't had to look into like what all these numbers specifically mean slash do. But, uh, wait, no, I still don't, I still don't have any food though. Gosh darn it. So can I just yoink some or do I have to go and like gather some again? <laughs> you attack, but you also don't attack. I guess, I don't know. I suppose so. I'm gonna adjust my camera down slightly. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea. Poke that hay. <laughs> it raises my attack, but it also lowers my attack. Man, I don't know if that trade-off is quite worth it, you know? Don't know if it's quite worth the trade-off there. How do I get food then? Unless there's just like summon in my room this whole time. Unless that's what's going on here. Cause I mean, what the heck? What the hell? Whee! Away we go. It'd be neat. I, maybe this game already does this. I'm not quite sure. But it'd be neat if like as a bonus in like menu or options, you could play the 1994 original as well. I don't think it's a thing. I know that that was a thing in things like Metroid Zero Mission where you could play like the original Metroid one as well, which was a neat thing because, you know, I would be curious playing the uh, a smidge of the original just seeing what it's like, not like a full playthrough or anything like that, but just having a look-see. I <laughs> want this horn spear. Yeah, so how do I get out and get some food then? Because yeah, I am a... Uh... I'm a little bit curious. I've just been looking up like YouTube videos of the 1994 original on the side. But yeah. I feel like a woman is gonna betray Spongegar. <laughs> That's just her name, is a woman, <laughs> I guess. I'm just gonna jack all this guy's crap or something. <gasps> Company will raise the prices 20%, but you'll get a 20% discount as a special offer. Isn't that worth it? Yeah, this is basically not a tax situation. Other hard rock. He'll give me some really good insight, right? Oh my goodness, he's... What? What is happening? What is happening? We got a lot of Assassin's Creed fans. What? There's more on the left? Oh yeah, pellet could be a good thing for armor. Maybe I can check my armor slot. Is this what happens when a... Uh, wait, what? I'm genuinely so confused. Is this what happens when, like, a bunch of Assassin's Creed Assassins all, like, gather into the same stack of hay? Let's see here. Um, yeah, Pelt. You are right. Maybe I did? I don't know. Didn't get anything from it. Oh, but it's nice to have gotten some food or something. Do you have some food? That I can jack? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, bye. What's this? A bone. Gosh dang it! So food are out here. But yeah. <laughs> they all reproduce asexually. That's why so many people left the hay. Yeah, way more than went in. <laughs> they sure did it pretty fast. They just split up that quickly. Must have been. Was this the way out that I took before? Or what's going on? Elder man, can I have some food? Gosh dang it, it's nothing but sticks and stones. Hi. I guess the cutscene's happening. Yeah, he wants me to go sniff him out. That's what he wants me to do. I have, apparently haven't been through here yet because it's gray. Well, he doesn't want me going through there. Okay. So, uh, yeah, but they should have some food around, you know? That's kind of one of the things that you always need after all. 
I'm genuinely so confused. I might have to look it up on YouTube <laughs> at this point. Because I just stripped you not have food. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I am so confused and suddenly yawning. What the heck? Where is food at? Where is food at, huh? Unless it's just in the same room, but I've checked like everywhere. I don't have any more food. I'm going to YouTube. This is what I'm doing. I'm going over to YouTube's live alive prehistory full chapter. Let's see here. Prehistory full walkthrough. Let's watch this. So I'll skip ahead a bit. Yeah, so I do the initial gathering and then through the night, skip ahead here. Maybe you can craft the food. It seems like I could only craft tools. I mean, I'll find out here in a hot second. What do I craft the food out of? Sticks and rocks, my favorite meal. Let's see here. I mean, let's see here. So what does Mr. Dudo do? So Mr. Dudo shouldn't have any food there. So where does he go? Keep on skipping ahead until he finds what to do. Wait. Oh my goodness, there. I went everywhere except for the right way to go outside. Cause we've only been outside like the one time so I didn't exactly remember the way out. And I went literally every single way except for the right way. I feel silly. I feel rather silly. So it is this way and it's around the bend. It's not the thing that that guy's blocking. It's like this up here. Unbelievable. Well, I guess I'll go gather food out here then. In that case. Scoozy. Scoozy. Thank you. So I guess we go sniff and yeah, this is totally how hunting works. This is totally it. <laughs> well. Mammoth calf? Well, I'm sorry, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm sorry. Okay, bang slap. Claw one bad with hand. Hurt many bads with surprise boo, I guess. I don't think the game's gonna give me any other choice. Wow, that did like nothing. Threaten? <laughs> you missed your threaten, apparently. Apparently. Well. What's with the jazz? Or at least the saxophones that briefly came in. For a sec there. Well, um. Okay, so I don't think there's much point in big scare then. Haunch of meat, okay. Well, there, there's that. Yeah, the music is definitely pretty good. Definitely gotta give it that. So then go this way, this way, this way? Okay, I get it. So it's like a little mini game track in the thing, essentially. Long to hog and so. Falcon, kick. Okay, not enough there yet. Headbutt. Ow. Mean. Yeah, so I guess I'll just be doing the bang slap. That doesn't look like a slap. That looks like a claw. That's what that kind of looks like. Why was your thing, like, fully charged up and then it went down to, like, halfway? Weird. Weird. You are victorious. Wow, a level up for him. Cool. Stench poot learned? I don't want to know what that is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that's gotta be great there. Okay. Um. So this way. I'll have to gather up a lot, right? Probably just one. Knowing this game, it might uh, it might just tell me to go get more anyway. Turn back on many bad and hurt with big poot. Um.
Wow. Had some serious Taco Bell, I guess. Or something. Um, <laughs> uh, so, apparently that's an attack in my arsenal now. Quite literally coming from up my arsenal, you could say. <sighs> well, beast horns that time. I'm just gonna go back. We've seen enough. It was time for Thomas to leave. He had seen enough. Or whatever the stupid meme thing is. Just, wow. I don't, I don't know what to say. Ah! Like I said, I have some slight sniffles, but for the most part, I'm over my cold. For the most part here. But this is, uh, this is bringing it back. All right. Well, I got some, uh, I got some meat here. It might be slightly contaminated, but food is food, right? Can't be picky at these kinds of times, right? <laughs> um... Yeah, just don't pay too much attention to the seasoning on it. <laughs> so I did the thing. Yeah, very driven by our primal instincts here, I see. Yeah, <laughs> could quote that there. Should that just be like the title of this part? When I cut this up into parts later? Should that just be like the title of this part of YouTube lets me get away with that? Maybe a new, a new tool in our arsenal <laughs> or something. Yeah, just just a hint there. Hi, what do you have to say? Oh, it's a proper cutscene. <laughs> what? But it's the same thing. Why was this the objective thing? Oh, it's different now. Oh my goodness, the Autobots are rolling out over this way. Okay, well, the squad is rolling. I think that's a squad that our chick, our Assassin's Creed chick fled from, is the, uh, is the case. What should we, what should we call her for now? Like, how many female assassins do we know? Like, there's Evie, and there's, uh, what was her face from, uh, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation? Oh, I'm forgetting her name because that game was awful. Could just say Evie, I guess, is a reference to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Gosh dang it. What was the name of, uh... Avalyn, I think was her name in Assassin's Creed 3 Li Liberation. Man, that game was awful. One of my least favorite Assassin's Creed games. But yeah, and yeah, that could be a fair point of YouTube say okay with Uni, but I mean like in the title, you know? I feel like that's something you'd see in Paper Mario. Like one or two. Left up and throw. Rather convenient how with no words they can perfectly describe the figure that they are want to refer to. You know? What? How? You're not supposed to find someone in a sack of hay? If Assassin's Creed has taught me anything, that's not how that works. You're invisible when you're in hay. <laughs> Are we not going in there? Are we going in there? I mean, yeah, there's two of them now, apparently. Uh, it'll just be immediate cutscene again, right? So, like... No, my queen! You can have all my Twitch Primes!
the angle camera shot reminding you that this game is 3D. <laughs> Get in! <laughs> We're actually gonna drive away. Boss battle time, I guess? I guess so. I'm okay then. Yeah, the first hit and run. Certainly, uh, certainly something there. I'm sure that they are jealous that- Oh my good gracious, the game literally set this up. Unbelievable. The one. What poison? I love how that freaking poisons. Oh man, ow! Those look more like wrenches than bones. But what do I know? So I guess we may as well do this because of the group, right? Like the game clearly set this up this way. Okay, bone toss. Okay, now they look more like bones now that I've gotten a closer look. Um, bam, bam, bam. Hit one bad with club many time. Kick, kick, kick one bad with foot. Sure. I guess we do this. D well, we got three hits there. <laughs> can't believe you just put your cover your fight aside, alongside Lei Kugo. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Do I do this again? So, you know. I'm doing this here. Undulating dance. Zero resistant. I'm out of here. Just charge up the Taco Bell. My goodness gracious. I'm out of here. See ya. Now. I'm gonna pass. And then we do this. How about? Well, big swipe. Okay. You're victorious. Baru is her name, apparently. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't want. <laughs> and wow, he just directly gets poop throw, apparently. Sing heal. Wait, do you just not get one? Okay, so main boss time. Also, had I known that we were gonna get the types of attacks that we do in this, I might have, I would have considered like some other names. Sleep trick. Make one bad go to sleep with club wave. I guess we'll do this. Hello, hello, eagle. How good things today? Like, just give like the most demonic name ever and then something really silly at the end for like a title. Like what? Like just say something like Ragnarok, the poop shitter. You know, something, something like that. Okay, fly lizard fly. Um, where was the name of an extinct crocodile species? I did not know that. Oh yeah, this. 
or many bad with smelly. We'll hold off on that for now. But it seems like there's a full thing of ammo there already from what I can tell. So I mean, one tarp the fathomless, a bit boot bigger. I think that's a bit more than 24 characters that the game would allow, but otherwise it would certainly be something. So heal HP all friend with woo woo big cheer. I'll try it out. Give it a go. Like that. <laughs> Pow fist. <laughs> um, let's see here. So I guess we falcon kick. But yeah, his name is Sir I shit you not. It probably is, isn't it? But yeah, evil redeeming name a Pokemon. How would that, <laughs> how would that apply here? Pook McGurt. I don't think we can change the name at this point. Well, I guess we may as well see it now. Um. Wow. And then it just toxifies all the uh, tiles. Wow, mean. Sure, I guess that. <laughs> Meh? Meh? Sounds like a voice actor for like a Pokemon is what I honestly imagine. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, when I hear meh, meh, I feel super uplifted as well. You know, did a lizard just spawn from that person's body emerging like the alien from aliens or something? Heck was that? Are we getting sent to the place that he didn't want us to go before or up north? Are we getting banished? <laughs> 